They have been killed, they went to the mosque. Over 70, 70 Muslims, children, mothers, they've been killed innocently. Just went there and they, they prayed, praying in the, in the mosques. It can happen in anywhere. In the temples, in the synagogues, in the churches. What we need to do, my brothers, we have to unite, my sisters, we have to unite to condemn that. To condemn the evil act. We have to unite. All of us. Muslim and non-Muslims, Christian, atheists, all together, we have to unite to eradicate the racism, the Islamophobia, anti-Semitism. God bless you all. Thank you very much. Good evening, everyone. Uh, this is what all bring us together, a <coughs> relationship of humanity. It is a killing of a humanity which is, has been carried on with a several different names. But act of terrorism is a terrorism. And once again, you will see terrorism have no beliefs, no religion and everything. And what we need to do is stay united, be part of that community we share as a human <coughs> being, and just pray for the peace around the world. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you very much. I am deeply saddened to learn of the dead and injured caused by senseless act of violence. I can't put into words how I am feeling right now. My heart is hurting. A New Zealand attack was horrific uh, assault on people praying in a place of worship. And it was attacked directly against Muslims. An attack on New Zealand's UK and all over the world for democracy, the open and tolerant society. We share the horror and condemn this terrible act. My sincere, sincere condolence go to the victims, families and the injured to whom I wish uh, uh, them speedy recovery. I was utterly horrified to hear about the barbaric attack on two mosques. It is behind all belief that so many should have been killed. And hurtful sympathy goes to all the families and loved ones on those who have lost their lives. We stand in solidarity with the people of New Zealand and against this vicious act of hate, racism, and growing Islamophobia. Perhaps Almighty God can bring, bring to us peace, peace which we needed and really, really overdue and perhaps make, put the, in their heart, heart of those terrorists, those evil people which they're killing the people. Some rahma, some mercy, which they don't kill the innocent people. God bless you all. Amen. I'm just going to read um, some words from our local MP, Annalisa Dodds, who, uh, as has been mentioned, is very sorry that she's not able to be here today. Um, uh, but it, 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 she has sent us through some words to, to read out, so I'm just going to do that right now get them up in front of me uh, and, and what she has asked us to read is that she says the whole world has been appalled and disgusted by the horrendous attacks in New Zealand the murder of so many defenseless people in such a way when they were quietly worshipping at the mosque is just horrendous all those associated with these pathetic terrorists must face justice I will also be writing to those media outlets who have decided to post content filmed by the pathetic racists who carried out this cowardly attack to remind them of their responsibilities to society. <laughs> I'd just like to add my words to Annalisa's and to say that today, on behalf of the City Council, we also stand in solidarity with the people of New Zealand and all those who have been directly affected by these terrible attacks. It's just... It's so depressing that yet again we are gathered here today to face facing terrorist attacks on people simply going about their everyday lives, worshipping their faith. 
it's not right and unfortunately some of the rhetoric that we have heard from politicians across the nations, uh, anti-immigrant uh, rhetoric uh, and racist rhetoric has brought some of this about. I am going to read uh, some phrases from Councillor Tom Hayes, who is a councillor for St. Clements and Carly Marsh, but executive member of a safer community, said there will be visible uh, reassurance. Patrol of police around masks, making use of their community contact to be on the front uh, foot. The uh, police will be talking to the uh, community around Oxford and telling them that uh, they, they have to be safe and they, they are looking, <coughs> looking after them, especially the masks around us. The Haymes Police will review the safety situation for Oxford Muslim community and our mosques. Uh, this appalling assault on all of us who uh, uh, such as religious freedom, tolerance, com compassion and community. Uh, police and authorities like City Council and County Council would lead our effort to combat hate and Islamophobia and to return in our societies from where ever it happened all over the world. Thank God bless you. Thank you very much. Sister Lob Chancellor Lobna. Lobna Arshad, one of the great councillors which we have. Please. Thank you every, uh, everyone for coming today. I really appreciate uh, the solidarity that everyone's showing. Um, just a few words. Our heartfelt prayers and thoughts are with the people of Christ Church and all those affected in New Zealand. The harming of innocent people can never be justified under any circumstances. We stand together with our Muslim communities and all those shocked and horrified by this terrorist attack in New Zealand. We stand in solidarity against those who seek to divide us and break our communities and destroy our way of life will never succeed. We reject their hatred and condemn these Islamophobic far-right terrorist attacks. All people, no matter their faith or belief, have a right to worship peacefully. May Allah the Almighty enable true peace to emerge and I pray that we show tolerance of each other's beliefs and customs and values the diversity within our societies. I pray that we come to see the best in humanity and use each other's strengths and skills to build a better world for our children and to cultivate lasting peace in society. Love for all and hatred for none. We call on black white and brown people to stand together against terrorism and allies to root out the white supremacist extremism and anti-Muslim biogatry following the mosque killings in New Zealand. It's not enough to simply not be racist. You have to be anti-racist. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much and thank you very much everybody for coming. Um, like you, I woke up this morning absolutely shocked, horrified uh, to hear of this horrendous attack uh, against people, men, women, children, coming together to pray in their mosques in New Zealand. I come from Christchurch Cathedral. We've had a very long-standing relationship with Christchurch New Zealand, uh, especially when they had their terrible earthquake some years ago and our choir went out to sing in their new cardboard cathedral. They've been rebuilding since then, and to have this kind of tragedy at the heart of a peaceful, multicultural community uh, is horrendous. So thank you for coming together today, Jews, Muslims, Christians, people of different faiths, no faith. At the end of the day, when people are attacked, it doesn't matter what faith or no faith they are, everyone is a human being. All of us made, we would say, by God in His image to be loved and to live together in love. It's an absolute tragedy, <coughs> a horror to God, when anybody of any faith or no faith has their life cut short by people acting as terrorists a completely misguided understanding of what it means to be human. So we pray for all those families affected, for all those injured in hospital, those who've lost their lives, those who are 
frightened to go out of their homes today or to attend their own places of worship, wherever that might be. And together we gather as people of Oxford, citizens of this wonderful community, also multicultural, united by our common humanity. We stand together, as our sister said just then, stand together in solidarity, determined to root out hate and to replace it, we pray, by love. So perhaps we could just hold a few seconds of quiet together. Thank you, thank you. Excellent, excellent. I live in Christchurch and I got woken in the middle of the night last night by my family <coughs> telling me what had happened. I also work at the hospital that's received all the victims. I just want everyone to know that this is not who we are and not what we believe and that we're all in complete shock about what's happened. Thank you. That attack really touched me and I hope that Allah opens the door of Jannah and gives the highest ranks to these martyrs that were attacked in the mosque. But I also pray that he guides these terrorists into a right path and a most <coughs> and a more justice uh, way of life. Inshallah wa ta'ala. Very kind, very kind. We have, we have Muhammad. Muhammad is a president of the ISOC of Oxford Brooks University. They are all working together and of course, please. Uh, I just thank everyone uh, that has came here to stand in solidarity with us Muslims for the attacks in New Zealand. And I, I just thank you all. And let's just pray that Allah uh, gives them Jannah. Thank you guys. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Sister Fat, I want to speak. God bless her. Just um, hey no, guys. Sorry. Um, I just wanted to say that um, when the attacker went to kill these people while they were in the mosque worshipping their god, um, the first person that he came across said Salam brother, which meant peace brother which just kind of shows you that this man was ready to greet and, and, and take this terrorist into his arms as a brother. And he just goes in and, and kills them all mercilessly. And I just, I want you to know that us as Muslims really appreciate the diversity here today. And you are standing in solidarity with these people. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can you introduce yourself? Sister from Montessori. So I'm Afrin from the University of Oxford. Um, I'm a student here. I just wanted to say that while we're talking about this act of white supremacy, we should also be thinking about the larger structure in which this happened. That this is not just about some people were killed by that one lone gunman. This is about the larger structure in which black and brown bodies become funny tinged. It is the largest structure in which we face racism every day. It is the structure in which the hijab is pulled off the Muslim woman. And I think we should all here look into ourselves, just about the little things that we do every day, how we interact with each other, be, be that with people who are white or black or brown, or from whichever part of the world. And also, I just wanted to send my thoughts and prayers to the people of I'm Jacqueline. Um, I'm a postdoc here at the university, and I'm a member of the Jewish community. Um, I knew people who were murdered in Pittsburgh. I was a member of that Jewish community in Pittsburgh before I came to Oxford. And I really, really appreciate it that some of you came to the rally after the massacre in Pittsburgh. So I'm standing with you. I realize how scared and sad some of you 
must feel. And I I want to be here for you too. Thank you, guys. And of course we're gathered here to to grieve and to mourn. And I think it's absolutely right that we do that today, that we take a moment to to, 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 to mourn our loss. But I think tomorrow we need to organise. We need to make sure that this new fascist alt-right wave is met with an equal and opposite unity of resistance. Because I'm not saying that I really understand all of the complexity of this alt-right movement, but what I do really understand is that they've got every one of us in our sights. I was uh, on a living wage store once when a member of the alt-right came up and started having a go at me for cultural Marxism. I was on a pro-Palestine store once when the alt-right came and started talking about how the Palestinians should be expelled. We are all in the sights of people like this. Therefore, we all need to unite and resist. So, let's mourn today, but tomorrow, let's organize the resistance against fascism. Thank excellent, you. excellent. Thank you, Thank you. We had many times, of course, the far right very far right come and bother and shout and scream at the mosque or before the mosque and in front of the mosque. But of course uh, has been has been dealt with it by, by the police, which the police is very helpful, by the police has been dealt with it, but however you never know, you never know is next one be my mosque. Of course, we have some many, many. Uh, if I tell you, I, I get uh, more than a hundred messages in WhatsApp. Which many are are there. Many are. We are all family. We are all Muslim. All all are family and related with the United Kingdom, and there we are related. And many of the families which they written down to us, they say, they say, my friend was uh, killed, and my mother was, my father was killed, my child was killed, and is it so sad, so sad, so sad. For that reason, we are we are trying to get every. Everyone united, Muslim and non-Muslim united, to eradicate any extremism, any um, um, uh, um, uh, Islamophobia or anti-Semitism. And they say we are brother and we, let's be united, united and protect each other's holy places, mosques, synagogue, uh, uh, um, churches, gurdwara, and uh, every temples and every place. With the police, of course, the police has to has to put vision. I, I would have thought if the police more often come around around the mosque and, of course, make a show that that uh, that uh, representative of a mosque, the committee of mosque, very happy about that because they are worried and they are panicking. They are panicking. All the mosques are panicking. It can be next one. However, the police can do and assure assure. It is good to be police presence. For example, um, when the when the when the people going to fight the prey, especially several big mosques, which we have the, we have the thousands of thousands of people they going there. Perhaps the presence of mosque they make them presence of, of police they make them happier and safe. We are showing our solidarity, and, and the, our heart goes to these these families, families and friends of these 70 people. Children, mother, children, and of course uh, the older people, they have been killed mercilessly by the madman, madman, which is absolutely pure terrorist. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, alhamdulillah rabbil alameen, ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, malik yawm al-deen, iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasa'een, ihtina sirat al-mustaqeen, sirat al-ladina anamta alayhim, ayin al-maqdub alayhim, falabdalin, amin. This is a, uh, when, when one of our people dies, one of our friends dies, one of our beloved dies, we say that Almighty God says, read this verse, read this chapter. It's a small chapter from the grace of God, from, from, the, from His merciness and all merciness of Almighty God, which we say, and of course, when everybody says, Amen behind that, this person goes to paradise by the grace of God. If the 40 people says, Say, this man was a good, this woman was a good, this young person was a good, they go, Almighty God, accepted and they go to paradise. And by the grace of God, we may all of us, 
Muslim and non-Muslim go to paradise. Say amen to that. Amen. I know. 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 I know